Hello. Okay, so this is a thing that I'm decided to do, I guess. So I decided last minute um, when I was just like in bed chilling, I was like, I should do a vlog of the books that I'm reading right now, or at least like of this book, because it's such an iconic book that everybody talks about, but I've never read it. And then I, um, I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of books that I have right now that are iconic books of this genre, and I haven't read them at all. But I thought it would be fun to vlog my experience of me reading these books. So, this is going to be, if you can't tell by the fucking title and the fucking thumbnail, a thriller themed, iconic thriller themed book vlog, reading vlog. I don't know why I called it a book vlog. Why I thought about this is because I am currently reading Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I cannot see, all I can see is like the reflection of, like I can't see what I look like right now. I can see the reflection of myself. Anyways, it's being held open by a pen right now. Isn't that cool? Um, <laughs> I'm on page 10 so far. I'm buddy reading this with somebody. Anna, if you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> then I also had started recently another book, another iconic thriller that people are talking about. And I posted this on my Instagram talking about how I'm reading it. And so many people were like, yes, 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 and yes. Like people love this book apparently. So Sharp Objects by Jillian Flynn it is. I started this and I got to page 30. Oh wait, no, I got to page 40. And this is really good so far too. It's keeping me entranced. So um, I'm probably not going, like I'm probably gonna finish Pretty Girls first because again, I'm buddy reading that with somebody and like, I guess, they, I mean, that's where like my priority lies right now. Um, but I'm really excited to pick this back up again. And then I also have another uh, Karen Slaughter book, which is The Good Daughter. Um, so I'm also going to read this for this vlog. I actually started this one too. Holy shit, I started all of these books. I forgot. Okay, I started this book and I'm on page 104. So that's cool. This one, okay, here's the thing. I like the beginning of Pretty Girls so far more than I like this one. I gotta say that. Um, cause I, again, I'm on page like 104 on this one and I'm not as intrigued as I was or as I have been in the first 10 pages of Pretty Girl. So there's that. Um, but that was my last minute plan that I decided that I'm going to run with and I'm really excited to do this because honestly, it feels right. It just feels right. Um, I'm not a thriller person. Like I don't usually read thrillers. This is not my go-to genre. My go-to is literary fiction. Um, but I'm, I'm game to fucking switch it up a bit. I'm game. So let's do that shit. Um, I'm really excited to read all these and I'm really excited to vlog again because I haven't uh, vlogged since my reread video, which is hopefully out by this time, holy shit. Um, but I reread re re um, my favorite 2021 books or whatever. And um, so that video is probably, yeah, that's out. And like, that was like the last time I vlogged anything. So I'm like, okay, let me like do this shit again because it's fucking fun. So here we are. Okay, I'm home. Um, alone all day basically because my boyfriend has to work and uh yeah and i was supposed to finish the first 60 pages of uh pretty girls yesterday but i just didn't because i was having a hard time it wasn't a good night for me and uh i went to sleep pretty early i didn't read any pages yesterday so i'm gonna read like 120 pages today i guess or try to um i'm probably gonna like i mean like i said like i have all day though I ain't doing shit. All I have to do is like call somebody and like that's my fucking busy schedule for the day. So I'm chilling. Okay. Okay, a few things here. Because <laughs> you hear that train? Do you see the lighting? Everything's going to shit. Why do like this lighting, like when I'm up here, like makes my head look shiny. Lighting does wonders for you. <laughs> I was thinking of like one of those fucking compilation or things where like it shows like lighting in different places and it makes it look like their face is moving, but it's just the lighting moving. And I was trying to do that. Like, if I can find something that I'm talking about, I'll put it here. Oh, but I just wanted to say, 
that I've had a headache since yesterday and I was like, okay, it's probably just like I'm tired or like overstimulated. Like I've had a whole entire day. So yes, I get headaches at night. Like that happens all the time. And, um, but then I took a leave and I didn't fix it. And that's one way that I usually know that it's a caffeine headache. Another way I usually know it's a caffeine headache is uh, when I wake up and I, my, my head still fucking hurts. It's because I haven't had caffeine in my system for like 24 hours and I can't keep doing that. Well, here's the thing. That's probably better for you, right? But I do have an addiction because I just happen to like the shit that I drink. I don't know. Okay. No, the shit that I drink that I like just happens to have caffeine in it. Why am I getting angry? <laughs> but look. I always have these rises uh, that this fucking, this, this, this helps me. It's like mental boost. I think, yes, it does. It, it does. And it does though. It has a mental boost. <laughs> what am I saying? Basically when I have this shit, you know, what a perfect conversation is for me personally is when I hit my pen, which I used to hit all the time, which is Delta eight, which is like Delta nine, which is weed basically. But Delta eight is like weed light. Um, so I used to hit it and that would help with my, like, it would be very cerebral and I, I would really be thinking up here. And then I would also have this, which would help me focus. And it is such a beautiful combination, but I have stopped using the um, the hitting uh, like I used to because it's not that good for you, your lungs, you know what I mean? Um, oh, all the cups are fucking dirty. Oh. Oh, uh, my boyfriend was genius. Can I talk about that for a second? Because yesterday, we was high as fuck. Like I fucking done said, we had people for edibles. And he fucking... <laughs> he's kind of a master chef when he's high, I guess. I don't know. Not, I mean, it's not really chef is street. That's not a word. It's not really him being a chef at all. But what happened was, <laughs> he fucking took the oat milk that we have and he took the sugar that we have and the vanilla that we have and he made a drink from it it was really fucking good <laughs> i'm like wow you're such a fucking icon bro i don't okay see here's the thing okay i'm gonna have to call uh, clean a cup because yeah but here's the thing i don't really trust myself when i clean i have ocd as well like that's it's a true thing i do have ocd and like it's interesting because most people with OCD, especially with contamination OCD, um, if you can call it that, like what I have that or what I'm experiencing right now that, like, so usually people with contamination OCD, that's like what you basically like probably know as OCD, where it's like, oh, I have to, I have to clean everything so that I know that it's a thousand percent clean, even though you're never, it's never actually going to be clean enough for you or like it's never going to be safe enough for you, okay? But I have the opposite where I don't trust myself to clean my own things. So I have to, like somebody else should clean it in order for me to feel like it's safe. Is that weird? I don't know. Let me talk to a therapist about that because... <laughs> but anyways, that's how, this is how I get feelings when I like... I'm about to wash something. I'll still do it because guess what? The cure to OC fucking D is exposure therapy and doing things that you're uncomfortable with. You have got to step out of your fucking comfort zone. Those intrusive thoughts are going to continue on if you continue to fucking try to um, get them away with fucking uh, compulsions, mental compulsions, and physical compulsions. You can't keep doing that. Am I talking to you guys or me? I can't tell. Wait, what the fuck? That's the wrong fucking sound, motherfuckers. Okay, guys, she can need a cup. Why did you need a clean cup, girl? You got a can, motherfucker. Well, did I ever tell you that I had OCD? It's not only an OCD thing. I also just really, really like it. My fucking drink, this drink specifically with ice. So I get a cup and I put ice in it. But then also, I'm scared of how many people and how many things have touched the top of the... Uh, this. I've never said that to anybody out loud. Wow. I'm really uh, opening up with you guys here. Oh, yeah. You guys are on the paper towel thing. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, so, how are you? I don't know where I should sit today. Should I sit in the living room? Should I sit in the study? Ooh, what if I sat in the chair, man? 
I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sit in this chair because I think that would be good for me. While I have my fucking caffeine so that I'm not like laying and then I'm not like, I feel like I wanna speak now. So I'm gonna sit in the chair in my study. Okay, that's my plan. That's my plan. Uh huh. That's my plan. That's my plan. That's not my, okay, yeah. oh, my God, that's my oh my god, this ice is dense, motherfucker. He filled this up yesterday. This is dense, motherfucker. This is heavy, motherfucker. I'm sorry, I'm so annoyed. Um, you know what? Um, is uh something that I've actually kind of been wanting to do. Oh my god, is I am so. Why did my voice shake like that? But I love Paige Little. She is an autistic. Uh individual who makes uh educational videos about autism and she also and you know she just looks her life she's a youtuber she actually she got big on tiktok she got has like 2.5 million on tiktok i'm pretty sure um or something like that she's really big and um i absolutely love her and she's uh insp inspiration you know what i mean and i've kind of been wanting to like uh talk more about autism in a sense like okay whatever this is going on for 10 minutes i'm done Okay, I feel like I can't tell you, I can't, I can't start reading until I show you my setup that I just created for myself. And I'm realizing, I think I want to like make this my reading fucking place because that's like so smart. Like me sitting in a chair instead of a fucking couch, like like not getting too relaxed, but still being comfortable Um, with my comfy, my blanket. I put a pillow on the chair so that my butt doesn't hurt. Um, And then I have like the fucking essential oil diffuser with the focus <laughs> scent <laughs> if that does anything i don't know i have my fucking rise i have pencil and notepad in case i want to jot down anything i am set motherfuckers time to read hello good morning it is morning you wouldn't know that unless i just told you which i just did who cares hello good morning <laughs> <laughs> Fix my headband, don't mind me. So I'm here uh, to say that, um, or to update, if you will. Can I really update? I don't even know why I'm doing this because I only got into 50 pages. Um, I Did I say yesterday that I wanted to get to at least 100 pages in this? I'm pretty sure I did like film myself saying that, but it didn't happen as you can tell. Um, I kept sleeping yesterday, man. I, I like read i keep going 10 pages like every single time i stop like i'll read 10 pages and then i'll stop <laughs> i keep doing that and i gotta fucking stop doing that shit like i really do want to have a day where i just like binge read it binge read you know up until page 100 or whatever the fuck like you know get get a little bit further make a little bit more of a dent um and it, now is a perfect day like today is a perfect day because like my boyfriend has work basically all day and like so there's that like because when my boyfriend's here he'll like put something on tv or we'll talk or like whatever and i'll get like really distracted and that's not saying anything like i hate that shit or anything because it's, it's not true why does my skin look weird but he's at work and so I'm just here alone and like what a perfect opportunity to just like crank out some pages, right? So I'm gonna try to do that. I don't know if I have any actual thoughts um, left on it. I guess it's kind of sad so far because there's like death going on, but like somebody's husband died. I mean, that always gets to me, but not, I didn't cry or anything. Like, let's not go there, but I mean, nothing really happened. And I don't know if that's a spoiler. Like, again, I'm on the first 50 pages. It's just a plot device that they needed. So hopefully the next time I'm here, the next time I'm updated, I'm at least on page 100. At least. Come on now. Uh, like I said, I keep like, oh yeah, I didn't even finish my story about how I kept sleeping yesterday. And then my boyfriend got home. Like, I literally, I, I was up. He went to work at like nine something. And then I... <laughs> I was like, okay, this is like perfect opportunity for me to have a like a fucking reading day, yes. And so that's what I was gonna like. That's what I filmed myself saying, right? And then, um, then I started thinking of something um, that happened that had bothered me um, with my family, and um, I had been debating on if I should tell my par like or text my mom or whatever the fuck. And I did. 
and after that I just kind of like was out of it because I was like crying and I was like uh so then I took a shower and then after I took a shower I was like you know what band I miss Beartooth and that's a band that I used to listen to all the fucking time uh when I was younger uh in middle school high school and so I had the speaker and I put on Beartooth and I was jamming to them for like an hour and then after all of that after the shower and the jamming and even after texting you know my mom i decided i'm tired i'm gonna take a 50 minute nap because i do that all the time like i'll take little cat naps 50 minute naps if you guys ever like that's how humans are supposed to be you know what i mean and if you guys are ever like i'm tired but i don't have time for like a full on nap like i can't go like you know I can't sleep for an hour. I challenge you, challenge, I don't know, but you should try to take a 15 minute nap because think about it, okay? You know when you're like laying in bed before you're about to go to sleep or something and it's like, you're kind of tossing and turning, but you know, whatever. And you're like, it's been at least like a fucking hour or something like that. It turns out it's only been like eight minutes um, or sometimes even like two minutes and you're like, it's because when you're sleeping, time don't mean shit. When you're falling asleep, time don't mean shit, right? So like when you, if you take a 15 minute nap, the average person falls asleep within like three to seven minutes, I'm pretty sure. And if you just take a nap for 15 minutes, set your fucking alarm for 15 minutes, hit the fucking pillow. You wake up, you're going to be refreshed as fuck. You are going to be like, why did I ever take two hour naps in the first place when I could have been waking up feeling like this? Because you know when you wake, you take those two hour naps in the middle of the day and you feel so fucking out of it, you still feel groggy, you can't do anything else. Take a 15 minute nap. Anyways, that's beyond the point because that's what I was trying to do. I was saying I'm trying to take a 15 minute nap and then the went, thing went off for 15 minutes. I'm like, I'm still tired, 15 again. I'm still tired, 15 again. So I just slept and I kept doing that for like an hour and a half. Um, and then I was in here kind of like groggy and on my phone. Like I was really, I was like, I had just woken up and my boyfriend got home. So then <laughs> I hung out with him the rest of the day for the most part. I read 10 more pages and that was my day. That was my day. So so sorry i didn't film it for you guys anyways do i look muscular hopefully i get more into this book i am i tired right now i can't tell i don't know how i feel oh yeah yesterday i did, i also forgot to add this part i literally the reason why because i could i could have re read like last night honestly if i wasn't fucking high i had an edible and that's why i didn't continue on reading as much as i could have you know um because i was i ate it and then i was like reading until it hit but i only read 10 pages got to page 50 and i was like i don't want to read anymore so then i stopped reading and then i was you know again hanging out with my boyfriend and then it hit and then i was definitely not reading you know what i mean so i couldn't even it was so funny i was trying to read off something to my boyfriend <laughs> like somebody's story i was just trying to like read it like what read what i had said i was having i was having problems i couldn't read for a second that i was like oh <laughs> it was really funny you, you just had to be there whatever um so i'm gonna read today this is happening 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 <laughs> okay um i just want to say that i am now on page 106 oh yeah done with not done what the fuck okay page 106 of pretty girls i've been having brain fog lately so i might say a lot of things that don't make sense low-key low-key we don't need to talk about it i have my theories and i'm debating on if i even should say any of the thing i haven't even what do i say i have i don't read thrillers and if i do read thrillers i do not vlog of my experience usually and so I'm like, what can I say and what can't I say, truthfully? Because I don't want to spoil anything, but I want to talk about it, you know? Basically, if you haven't read Pretty Girls, it starts with um, a couple named Claire and Paul. And they uh, go to an alley and Paul gets demolished. He dies. 
So then Claire is uh, living with that. And then right when she gets to her house, after the funeral, somebody has broken in. So there's that. But then there's also Lydia, who has a six, uh, a 17 year old daughter who she's like taking to college and everything like that. And uh, so we kind of follow these two women for the most part, it goes back and forth between them. There's also these notes written by somebody. And I don't know if I should say who the notes are written by, but also, okay, years before this book took place, there was a missing person, a, 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 an abduction happened. People were confused and this girl, her name was Julia. And she, I don't know if this is gonna be a spoiler or not, but she's Claire and Lydia's like sister so Lydia has this daughter who she's trained to be like tough and if anything happened to her she could like you know get out alive then Claire was it Paul I see what can I say that's not a spoiler because it it's wild if you want to talk about domestic like uh craze you want to talk about like family drama here it fucking is because it's really crazy Okay, with all that we know now, even though I'm being really vague, <laughs> I'm just like, basically, who kidnapped Julia? And then there's a new person, okay? There's another person named Anna Kilpatrick who has gone missing recently, and she was about the same age as Julia. And so it's kind of resurfacing everything again. And so Claire and Lydia are just, you know, there's been um, three notes so far that I've read, and it's basically their dad talking about how much they that how much he misses Julia. Well, like you know, they're like him and their mother divorced because of it, and like all of this stuff. Because he was still so set on finding out who who uh, hurt Julia, and who. And what happened and everything like that like he was still set on that but everybody else is just trying to move on um he's not alive anymore so we are seeing these notes and knowing that he's not alive and knowing that the girls will probably find these notes and have something to do with it claire and lydia by the way don't like each other at all they have very valid reasons to hate each other and want to pull each other's hair out or i should say lydia has a very valid reason to want to pull claire's hair out lydia also has a really good reason for why she doesn't like claire's late husband paul and i also made a prediction but do i say it i don't know I don't know if it's true though. You know, I don't know if it is true. I feel like it might be a little too obvious. So do I say it or not? I won't say it, I won't say it. Um, that's where I'm at right now. I'm actually really enjoying this book. I'm liking being interactive with it. I'm liking trying to figure out what's happening too. Okay, Um. so I'm here to update about this goddamn book. Something fell when I was looking for it, but I don't know what fell. Anyways, um, so I have some thoughts about it because um, I've been reading. I'm on page like 200. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on page 200. And um, I've got my guesses. I've got my predictions. Again, don't know how much I'm allowed to fucking say without it being like a complete spoiler. I feel like I know the a lot of the fucking answers, but at the same time, I'm like, I cannot keep thinking that I know what's gonna happen or what's happening now, right? Like, that's the whole point of a thriller. Like, it's gonna like shock me, it better, because if I've already predicted the shit, then what the fuck is the point, you know? Um, I'm hoping that I have not predicted it because, oh, I already got a cup out. <laughs> I just, Trying to find a place to put the fucking tray. One of these, like the note right here that I just read off of, it was like, it's talking about how I'm like, I feel like this heavily implies exactly what everybody's thinking, right? And I feel like, I mean, I guess not know what everybody's thinking, but this like heavily implies like what the twist might be, I feel like, but 
is that the point like is it supposed to have like seem like it's implying that but then like that's just not true i don't know obviously oh actually now that i'm looking back at this i wrote this note and then like literally like probably 10 pages later or 20 pages later i found out that that was true and that was like the point so scratch that part oh yeah okay so there is this um thing this one part where uh claire is talking about paul uh and um how they had a basement but claire said the basement was too big for her to ever go in and uh I'm pretty sure Paul probably used that to his advantage, right? I think she's gonna find some fuck shit in the fucking, like, basement. There's no way Paul didn't know that Claire didn't know anything about the basement. And with all the things that Paul has already done, all the sneaky, like, sneaky shit that he's done, all the fucked up shit he's done, he's definitely uh, used that to his advantage. And so I'm excited to see when that comes back into play, maybe. Um, I, I just have a hard time thinking that 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 the basement, um, mentioning the basement and mentioning that Claire never goes in it or never cared about it or never uh, put herself in there, that's gonna come back around, you know? And then there's this, um, I mean, there's an event that sparked this entire book, which is basically like uh, Claire and Paul got robbed and then Paul got shot and died, right? And of course they keep coming back to the scene because again it's where everything started but also i feel like there's other reasons why they keep coming back to the scene i feel like she keeps uh, referencing the guy who like uh, robbed her i think like she keeps describing the like one is like a snake a snake man because he had like a snake tattoo and i'm like okay i feel like this event was just like not we're not supposed to forget it obviously like again i just said like it was the start of the book but also there's probably something more um and then um there's a fucking sus ass huckleberry uh which is basically what she calls cops uh, what claire calls cops all the time um but there's one and he's just sus he's a little bit uh weird and he definitely knows something that they don't know and i'm excited to get to the point where we figure out what the fuck he's all on about you know <gasps> I can't say this, but I think I might have predicted something. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna read to at least 250 today. That's my goal. 50 more pages. Woohoo. Okay. Hello. It is the next day, and I have more updates about the book that I have been reading. Okay. So I don't know where I was yesterday, like when I filmed. I'm like in the middle of like a chapter. This fucking liquid right there uh oh um but i'm on page 292 and uh i don't know i have thoughts i guess um there is this one twist that i suppose happened i for i didn't it, it took me a bit to register that it was even supposed to be a plot twist but like duh of course that's what this is um and i don't know how i feel about it i don't know how i feel about it but all i know is that i hope that something happens at the end with the girls and they have the opportunity to be able to do something because i think that would be a satisfying ending and i think that's probably what's going to happen okay so i didn't really have anything since the last time i said but i have another prediction i suppose which is um pretty plausible all I'm saying is I think I'm like, I'm like, there's no way I'm predicting all these plot, like, twists like this, right? Or like, or is it just so obvious that this is what's happening or what's going to happen? I can't tell which one. Cheers. <laughs> mm. I'm off phone. That's really gross, man. Anyways. Um... I'm planning on finishing the book today. So I'm on page 294. I have like 100 pages left to go. I'm hoping to finish it today because I don't really want to spend another day on this fucking shit. I was supposed to get to page 300 yesterday, but it was just like not a good time for me. So I just didn't continue to read. But now I'm going to finish it today. And then I'm going to move on to the next book because... Mm, about time and i'm probably gonna read sharp objects next um so yeah i'm excited about that because i've heard a lot of good things about jillian flynn i've heard that she is the queen of thriller 
she's good at what she does so i'm excited for that you know i started gone girl forever ago like literally like march of last year i started gone girl and um never finished it so that's my compelling story with that one i got myself some toast i got myself some energy drink um and now it's time to read okay <laughs> hey guys hi okay so i'm here i'm about to one second let me turn on the light because okay i don't know if the light makes it better or worse do i look worse i can't tell i really can't tell let's pretend i look like a 10 out of 10 right now <sighs> okay pretty girl by karen slaughter i had finished this book last night yesterday I guess it wasn't even nighttime. It was like at three three o'clock p.m. So, two thirty even. Anyways, <laughs> not that it matters what time I finished it, but it's done. And um, I have thoughts. I don't know if I'm a, like if I should give my actual review right here, right now. I don't know if I can like say everything that I want to be. I'm gonna sit down. I give it a three star. I don't think it's anything to lose your shit about don't know if i completely get it um i know that this is kind of like a cult classic almost i don't know I, I mean people can't really go anywhere without like if you talk about the thriller genre i feel like you can't go anywhere without saying pretty girls by karen slaughter right but i feel like it wasn't giving what it should have gave you know i feel like god i don't even know how to put this because i don't know what it was about it that i didn't like completely i know that and the things that I didn't like, like there's some things that I just can't say because they would be spoilers. There was a plot device that I didn't like. And if you've read this book, um, I'm gonna give you a hint of what it is or like whatever, but um, Claire's husband. So that was a thing, right? I didn't care for that part. I didn't care for that plot device. And if you know what I mean, you know. I mean, you know, there was this one prediction, you know, when I had that one clip and I gasped, that didn't even happen, but I feel like it would have been really good if it did. It's like the things that did happen, there wasn't really that many plot twists, right? Or am I crazy? Or did I miss something? I don't know. There wasn't like something so crazy. I don't know. I don't have my official thoughts all the way through. I'm like, did I miss something huge or something? Or do I just not like it? I can't tell. But that kind of brings me to my next thing that I'm about to say, which is I've been reading this shit, okay? I'm hoping to finish this book today. Actually, maybe in the next hour because my boyfriend is in class in statistics right now and I'm just here chilling and I think it would be a perfect time to read and just like finish it. I kind of stopped in the middle of a page. I'm on page, I mean, in the middle of a chapter. I'm on page 128. And so what do I have to say about this so far? Uh... I like it. I honestly like this so far because I like the thrilling aspect of it all. Like, what is going on? We still don't know and we're 130 pages in, but it's done tastefully, okay? It's done well. I'm curious to know what's gonna happen, what's gonna, what the uh, answer is. Who, because basically, if you don't know, this book is about a uh, girl who went missing. And the main character, her name is, um, fuck, what's her name? Camille yeah this uh, the main character uh her name is Camille she is a news reporter and so she is told to go to this town which was her hometown so she was going to stay with her mom and she uh was supposed to uh talk about this uh, incident where this girl went missing and uh so far I mean that's what I got I mean her mom absolute cunt her uh younger sister her half sister i should say also absolute cunt and it's uh kind of hard like to read like i'm like okay like you know i just like that's just how i feel like okay you anger me ha 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 but it's done well it's not done bad i mean you're supposed to hate the characters right you're supposed to hate the mom and the sister so it's done well. 
I'm, I mean, like, I haven't found a time where I'm not interested in what's happening. I, it's very compelling, and I hope that it really packs the punch that I have been promised because people live by this, right? Like, this is a, every, like, I haven't heard anything bad about this book ever. So I'm expecting, like, me to like it just as much. I really am, and I'm hoping. So that's what's up. I'm hopefully gonna finish it, maybe, I don't really know, but, you know, I'll probably, uh, because here's the thing, I'm very unpredictable at any given time, I've said this many a times, if I feel like reading one second, like, I could read for like three pages, right, and then be like, eh, actually, I don't want to read, and then I'll do God knows what, so, you know, I've been in the middle of reading five books, and I'm really, I'm trying to knock that shit down because first of all these books that i've all these books that i've been reading um are from the library and they were due like a week ago <laughs> um but i haven't finished them yet and this would be the second time that i re check them out and i'm like that's just embarrassing at that point so i'm not gonna do that i'm sorry that sounds like that sounds bad but it's like a fee free library i'm not trying to be like a cunt about it plus by the way we got these books and then we got sick like we got covid well okay sorry we got these books and then it was the holidays it was christmas and it was new year's and then we got and then my boyfriend and i got covid like the week after christmas and um so that's what we've been doing you know and then we just haven't had the time to go anywhere we just have and then snowed and everything like anyways I'm trying to like defend why I still have all these books, but like, that's just that. I'm gonna return them, don't you worry. But uh, after this book, I'm probably gonna move on to The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Uh, and that will be my last book for this lovely vlog. And then I have uh, Ministry for the Future by Kim Stanley Robinson. And I'm gonna hopefully finish that soon. And then I have Crossroads. All of these books are so, Thick. This is the thinnest book I have. Like, I mean, you know, like the least amount of pages. Like, because <laughs> uh, Ministry to the Future is, I would show you, but it's literally being held up. My phone's being held up by it, but it's like 600 pages. And then Crossroads is, is 600 pages too. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. But guys, um, this isn't about this, but I really like this book a lot. I'm going to go read now i guess okay <laughs> uh it's a little loud because of the fucking uh, heat um two lights maybe maybe that's gonna work out for me i don't know anyways i am here sat in the car um of my boyfriend's well mom's technically but it's the car that we've been using to get place to place and my boyfriend is at work right now i'm staring right at the place that he works at as we speak um and you, if you have seen any other of my vlogs i do this shit all the time i'll be sitting in the car all the time and wait <laughs> i like just go to work with him basically and uh i sit here i don't mind it it's comfortable to me okay so i just want to say that remember yesterday when i fucking said that i was gonna finish <laughs> sharp objects never happened so what happened though was i got to page 166 which is not bad at all and like i just had this much left you know i have like an hour left on the audiobook like if i'm doing the math uh like it all equates to about an hour because i've been li listening to it in three times speed so that is something that i'm going to get done and then after i read that then i can move on to the good daughter so that's my plan okay okay i don't know if i'm gonna reread the good daughter or not because when i read the beginning i wasn't like it was like um a month ago about and i'm like do i even remember the beginning of it i don't know anyways and then i also have crossroads just in case i uh want to read something else in the midst and also i have um a book that i'm reading on script right now called blue it's it's uh really fucking good it's so fucking good holy shit it's beautiful and um i really want to finish that today because it's like a po it's like a sonnet book it's just like a bunch of sonnets about the color blue it's um i that my 
explanation really didn't do it justice but it's really beautiful that's what i'm doing that was so boring that was so boring okay also of course i just gotta say i've got my rise i've got my rise don't worry guys i got my rise don't worry don't worry guys i got my rise don't worry don't worry guys i got my rise i always call it i just call it simply rise because that's what we always call it <gasps> this isn't even rise wait this is mountain dew energy holy fuck did they change their name <laughs> guys uh, no way i wish i was joking i'm gonna look it up right after i i guarantee you they changed their fucking name they used to be rise and you know what there's this company that we always my boyfriend and i we always get this get this a canned coffee and it's called rise so we always say like rise and then we'll have to like be like coffee or rise mountain dew but this just says mountain dew energy they fucking rebranded guys that is so crazy you don't even understand because rebrands are so interesting to me and it's so fucking interesting to see a brand that or like a thing that i indulge in daily to be rebranded and i did not even notice until now i'm like we call these rise because it says rise on it but it literally doesn't anymore it doesn't say rise i'm gonna put a fucking photo of what they used to fucking look like anyways Wow. Oh my god, it's really cool. I went straight to my brain. Okay. <laughs> Time to read. You know, I have my music too. Or, well, not music. I have my iPad, which has my music. I love reading with music. But I can't do it. Unless I have an audiobook, you know. I just like having the background. Are you ashamed of your bodily functions? You know, that's some... 10? Oh my god. I kept putting in my boyfriend's password, my boyfriend's phone password. I'm like, hello, that's my password? No. No. What the? 110299. Okay. The last time I pressed 3 instead of 2. Um, Guys, I love reading. <laughs> Can I talk about that? I'm sorry. I opened this and it was on um Scribd. And I was like, oh, I want to read that and that and that and that and that. You know, just a second ago, like that's exactly what I was thinking. Who wants to listen to music with me? That's so loud. It doesn't help that it was in the middle of a song. Music, check. Book, check. I'm pumped, okay. Ah, rise, check. Not into energy, I mean. God damn. I'm gonna still call it Rise. Am I allowed to do that? Or are they gonna sue me? <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay. I'm gonna be reading Sharp Objects. And I'm finishing this in the next hour, okay? And when I finish it, I'm gonna hopefully film and tell you guys about it, okay? That's the plan. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then after this, uh, well, I don't know. I guess I'll move on to the good daughter, possibly, maybe. I don't know. You know, maybe I'll take a break because I want to get this video out and all, but I have other videos to get out before this. Well, one other video to get out before this. Anyway, so I can slow down my roll, first of all. Anyway. Okay, guys, um, let's talk. Let's talk. I finished this shit. Not in an hour like I said I would, but hey, I finished it. I don't know how much I can say without, like, using spoilers. Okay, this is gonna be a spoiler-free section, but I think I'm gonna have to delve into spoilers, even though I don't like doing that, but I'll just put it, like, say spoilers while it's, like, going, and this beginning part is not any spoilers at all um and plus i feel more comfortable doing this i don't know but just because sharp objects is such a like i think everybody's read this book i think i'm the last one to read this book like in this entire world so what let's start here this is a slow burn thriller even though it's only like 252 pages it like it took a bit to get to the action right but it was done so well like that shit would usually annoy me, right? Like, okay, come on, come on, come on. But every single page, well, maybe not every single page, you know, I'm being a little hyperbolic, but like, like, so, like, it was just so en entrancing and like, you just needed to know what was happening. You just really did. And it was just like, was it predictable? Yes and no. Yes and no. Like, I think leading up to it, it was obvious who had killed these girls. But then there was this ending 
that was something else and again i'll talk about it in, like the spoiler section like in a second i'm ready for spoilers because i can't really think of anything else so if you have read this book you know uh about adora and what she did to Miriam and Emma and uh, attempted kind of to do to uh Camille uh basically she had uh what's it called mucism mucanism look I don't know how to pronounce that shit I never do but uh it's basically like it's like the same thing as like Gypsy Rose um and like you do if you remember the story about Gypsy Rose Blanchard like basically it was like a girl who di couldn't like whose mom basically was like you're sick you with this and this and this and this and um the girl was like in a wheelchair even though she could like walk but she like her mom was like no you're too weak to walk like you can't walk you can't eat sugar because you're allergic you can't like all of this stuff um in case you didn't know the gypsy rose case but i was so interested in that case when that first came through like well, maybe not when it first came through, because I was like 9 or 14 or I don't know. I don't remember if it was in 2009 or 2014, but I was younger. But like, you know when the act came out? Um, like slightly before the act, I knew about it, if that makes sense. Like probably like a year before the act actually came out. Like that's when I got into the case. And it was just so interesting. And I was like, you know, that kind of case, like mucism through I, if i'm pronouncing it wrong like let's pretend that i'm not I'm, i don't feel like looking up how to pronounce it i'm sorry um mucism through uh like they called it a certain thing in here but basically yeah just like say thinking that you have this fucking illness um because that's what mucism is like thinking that you have this illness uh or telling people that you do even though you don't and you might either consciously know that you don't or maybe you don't like know that you don't all the time but anyway um so this this time it's like through the kid like saying like my daughter has this and like my daughter's so sick i have to go to the hospital all the time whatever so that's what this mother um did with mariam who is camille the main character's um sister and uh so her mom killed her and then basically also so these uh there was girls that went missing and they would be found with like their teeth out and um you know murdered and demolished and uh you know this whole time i guess you're like oh it has to be like a man doing this but no it was the mom um yeah and then okay let's talk about the ending let's talk about the ending because emma went down that same exact hole emma was already such a uh <laughs> mess she was a 13 year old girl who was um you know sexually provocative and she was a druggie um like doing hardcore drugs drinking all of this stuff at 13 years old she was a fucking bitch to all of her friends um it's very obvious that like she kind of didn't really have that much empathy for others like even though it was predictable even though it was slow burn it was still done really fucking well and again the ending there was like that part where and i'm like mm, shit i don't know like that i was not expecting i finished guys i'm gonna give this a four star um wow you know i have all of gillian flynn's uh jillian i have all of jillian flynn's um books technically like i have this one i got it from the library but i've read it so like there you go check that and then i also have gone girl which i got from uh goodwill forever ago and i started that book but never finished it um and that was something and then i also have her other book, which I honestly don't even know what it's called. What's it called? Um, I always forget. Dark Places. I have that book because I also got that from Goodwill, I think. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I want to get into Jillian Flynn. And so, now I have, technically. This is her debut. And I mean, it was good. It was really fucking good. Okay, I'm glad that I enjoyed that. Like I said, I'm going to give it a four star. I don't know if I can say that much else about it. but it was definitely a compelling way of telling a thriller. Um, honestly, the ending felt like a horror kind of moment. I can't lie, like just like a very unsettling like uh, ending. Okay, 
I don't know what to do now. Now that I finished the fucking book. Should I read Her Stuff the Good Daughter? Or should I just go on to my other lovely, lovely book, Crossroads, which this is not a vlog about at all. I think that's all. Okay. Hello. It's me from three months after all of those clips. I have um, not touched this uh, edit, this video for a long time, but I'm back, baby. <laughs> and I'm not going to be reading Pretty Girls like I had promised in the very beginning when I was sitting in this exact spot. I said I was gonna read Pretty Girls. No, not Pretty Girls. What is it? The Good Daughter. I'm not gonna be reading that. I read Pretty Girls, read Sharp Objects, Honestly, Pretty Girls was enough Karen Slaughter for me. I don't think I'm ever gonna pick up another one of her books. Am I allowed to say that? Recommend me some Karen Slaughter books, I don't know. I have pieces of her. Anyways, that's not what this is about though. This is about me saying goodbye. I'm so happy that I finally edited this and it's going to be posted in the next week. Just like that. It's not that hard to edit, Kai. It's not that hard. Just, you just have to do it. That's always my problem. I just have to actually like start it, but I always forget that starting it is just the simple task that I need because in my head, I'm like starting it seems like so much. But I said this March, I'm gonna get serious with my editing, my videos and everything like that. I'm gonna get serious. So you are going to be seeing a lot from me in the next month. I raw miss because I'm realizing so much that this was such a simple task to just simply edit clip upon clip it's easier than I was putting it like making it out to be and when I eventually get better equipment for my editing like a better iPad or um maybe a different software for editing like a Microsoft software or something hopefully I can make I can better edit in the sense of like making it more entertaining with my edits because I don't know if you've seen my like very first wrap-up video my September wrap-up there was it was like heavily edited and I was just having a blast with that shit that was before my iPad was like fucked <laughs> basically so if I got a new iPad you know better quality shit it you know you get it but for now what I'm doing is editing on my phone that's what we're gonna have to be doing for who knows how long and that's fine but i've got to actually get to it i also have a february wrap-up that's going to come out soon and then i'm going to be editing all these vlogs that i have i have so many vlogs for you guys and you will be seeing them and that is a fucking promise okay enough with the intense outro i just took an edible like 20 minutes ago so I'm just waiting for that to really settle in and hit. And uh, until next time.